What's up? It's your girl Renee Barnett and today I am going to be doing a tutorial, something that I've been wanting to do for a while. Um, I will actually be using the Fenty Matchstick Trio. I'm going to be using a model today um, and again the Fenty Ma Matchstick Trio, it comes in um, the trio and it includes the concealer, the highlighter, and the contour color and I'm going to be using it in Deep 400. So if you're interested in seeing, stick around. Here we go. Okay guys, so I've already moisturized my model's face. Now I'm lightly misting the skin with a hydrating primer. And next, I'm going to brighten the under eye area by applying the Fenty Concealer in Suede. I'm highlighting all of the high points of the face where light normally hits the skin. The bridge of the nose, the forehead, the chin, and depending on the look that I'm going for, sometimes I highlight the tip of the nose if I want to accentuate the tip. And from there, I just start blending, softening out all of the areas where the concealer was placed. So next, I'm going to apply the Fenty contour color in Espresso around the hairline just under the cheekbone and right along the jawline, along the sides of the nose and then extend it right up into the brow for a little added dimension. Then start blending which is going to soften up the con contour so that there are no harsh lines. Yeah, so guys, I really like this Fenty Matchstick Trio because it's very lightweight and it's perfect if you want to add a little contour during the daytime without looking overdone. I like to call it the contour, no contour look. So next, I'm just applying foundation onto the remaining areas of the face where I didn't put any concealer or contour. So when you start to blend, it's going to connect all the different shades and then pull everything together. I'm actually using a wedge sponge, um, but you can use a beauty blender or a brush. Just use whatever you're comfortable with. And then just blend until you don't see any harsh lines. That's the most important thing. Just blend, blend, blend. Okay, so next I set all the areas where I placed the concealer with a translucent powder, followed by a setting powder that's closer to the contour color for all the areas that I actually contoured. And then I followed that up with another powder that's closest to my model's actual skin tone to set the rest of the face. Okay, so now I'm just removing the powder from the areas that I've already set with the setting powder. And don't forget to apply the powder, the setting powder, to the contour areas along the sides of the nose. Okay, so for the eyes, I start with a black coal eyeliner to smoke out the eyelid. This particular eyeliner is um, Feline by MAC. Then I blend the color out with, the, with an eyeshadow brush. This one is the MAC number 230. Okay, so then I use Truffled Eyeshadow by um, Too Faced. It's the one in the Semi Sweet Eyeshadow Palette. Again, it's by Too Faced and I'm just using that to add a little dimension in the crease. And I follow that up with a little cream eyeshadow by Chanel called Urban uh, to make the eyes really pop. And I just use a flathead brush and also my fingertips because um, that's easier sometimes. Then I'm just going to apply a dark licorice black color into the crease area to add additional dimension.
Okay, so now I'm applying the same feline eyeliner into the waterline and just under the bottom of the lashes and then just blend it out with a small eyeshadow brush. So I applied the lashes off camera and I'm just following that up with mascara on both the bottom and top lashes. And for an added pop of color, I'm applying a cobalt blue eyeliner right on top of the black eyeliner in the waterline. Now I'm filling in the brows with a brow pencil. This is tapered by MAC. I'm going to apply a little blush. This is Raisin by MAC and I'm going to follow that up with the Fenty Highliner, Highlighter and Cinnamon and then I'm just blending it in. Okay guys and that's it. The look's complete. So thanks again for tuning in. Like and subscribe to my channel and check the description box for all of the makeup details, beauty business resources and I will see you guys next week for another beauty tutorial.